I gave Tony a solid A after the first day of testing. to say that the speeds and the acceleration and the ETs are extremely impressive and Tony's performance on track has been exactly what I thought it would be. I, we had very high standards and expectations for him, not just because of what he's accomplished in motorsports, but his attention to detail is so immaculate that it has made it so that his progression in these days has far exceeded what those expectations were. run in these tracks right here in the group, but the burnout isn't there. The burnout would be right here. Wet on out, run the inside, you burn out on the outside nice and straight, and as soon as you get out of the throttle, you move it on over. Well, it's like, how much do you move it on over? That's why you project from, like right now, you'd go, all right, where's my center point of the actual group? I'm not the big picture person, but here I am. Burnouts, back up, starting line on the track. And he's realizing the thousands of details in between that. And surprisingly, I believe is in love with it. And when he comes back from a run, his response from coming back is diving right into 
how good did he do on each one of those markers? What could he do better? And comparing to the very limited baseline that he has, just that 10% better everywhere than anybody else. He, if he continues at all with the dedication to being great in this particular sport in any capacity, um, I feel bad for any competition <laughs> to come down the pipe. I got the staging is what I got to work on. Like I said, I had a hole out. Yeah, it was what it did. It moved. I had to, like, it moved more. So that makes sense. I'm really impressed, you know, for the first time he jumped in a top fuel car. I'm, I've worked with a lot of drivers, he, he's got it. Um, you know, he's such a perfectionist. Um, he's not really messing up, but he, he doesn't like because it, the sequence wasn't right or the timing wasn't just perfect, and um, it shows why he's a champion, you know, r racer. Quick reminder. Tim will be in front of you. <laughs> Just that's the only change. Same burnout as you've been doing. And um, don't be afraid to stop the car after the burnout when you back up. Shit, man, it's only your fifth lap. You're doing great. And then um, a little bit longer burnout. Like 250 feet with green, no green, green again. Like sometimes a hole doesn't, doesn't, the cylinder just doesn't go dead. It is hanging on in there and like trying to relight. So you're just about to go one to one with the clutch, and when you're hitting six plus G forces. You're right revving up into it. You get shut off. It is like hitting a brick wall. Neil saw the hole out on the left side, which is why it pushed Tony to the right. You see the tracks go to the left, and it wasn't coming back, and we weren't going to run a 70 with a hole out, so Neil shut it off. And so, most likely the reason this belt broke is because of the shutoff. It's not necessarily the number one question in my mind, going, we're going to find out real soon, like, what type of drag racer is Tony? The last time they get it done, is he gonna mess this up or is he going to walk the talk? Walk the talk. Really proud. <laughs> wow! Way to go! That was cool. Four zero? I don't know if it was no, but we're getting set of 40 something. You gotta win. I'll take that. 40 to get anything right now. I have a question. Is there anything that you could take away from these two days and now go back to your sprint car and you know, fly? Yeah, they're going to hate me because I'm going to go, why does this thing not leave the corner any harder than it is? <laughs> Even when it's hooked up, it's not going to leave the corner nice. So. <laughs>